It's not just the U.S. Across the Americas, Europe and Southeast Asia, COVID infections are on the rise. CBS News senior foreign correspondent Elizabeth Palmer has more. COVID's second wave has hit France and French hospitals hardest, with above 26,000 new infections on Saturday, more even than in the spring. In big cities, including Paris, bars are completely shut, though restaurants are still open, at least for now. Here in Britain and in Europe, with infection rates on the rise, governments are desperate to come up with some new strategies to avoid the return of those strict national lockdowns, which were so damaging to the economies. But even local measures, like a curfew in Berlin for the first time in 70 years, or a widespread shutdown of Scottish pubs, is devastating for business and is bound to bring even more unemployment. Most of my friends are, are angry about the whole thing. I mean, they feel as if they're being penalised. India reported fewer coronavirus infections last week than Europe. But it is still battling a colossal outbreak. It's the only country besides the US to have had more than 7 million cases and currently has the highest daily death rate on the planet. At the other extreme is North Korea. Well, that is if you believe its leader, Kim Jong-un. He staged a military extravaganza on Saturday and announced the country had had not one single case of COVID. Then he offered his condolences to the rest of the world. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.